What's up, YouTube? Big universe. Big conscious people of this planet. How y'all doing today? And, uh, yeah, man, it's Hardcore Hoy, and I just had a little tip for, uh, my older congregation out there. And, uh, how to stay hard over 40. You see, your boy is pretty. You know what I mean? Solid. Right under 250, and, uh, probably got a BMI around about 22, 21, which ain't bad for three days a week. You know, you get a little older and your life changes and uh, you have more responsibilities. You don't really have the time to, you know, be a gym warrior like it was when you was younger. And that's going to dramatically increase the chances of you having a dad by, don't nobody want no dad by, so uh, I had a few tips to help you guys out. My over 40 guys, the number one thing you want to focus on is processed foods. So uh, if you're on grandpa status like me, you don't have no room for no McDonald's, Hardee's, Wendy's. Stay away from that. That's going to have you flabby as a motherfucker. And I know it tastes good, but uh, we got to replace that with some vegetables, water, Nuts and grains, guys. You know, we had our fun eating all that garbage when we was younger. Now it's time to clean up the cabinets, and get rid of the ho hos and ding dongs, and uh, get your nutrition together. That's going to vastly improve your chances of having that young, ripped, hard body you used to when you was in your 20s and 30s. So, yeah, man, clean up your diet, stay away from the processed food. Number two, no sugar. Sugar is like sludge in your motor. It has no nutritional value. So uh, we don't got time for that. Stay away from sugar. Sugar thins your blood, which is going to make you placid and smooth. You older guys know what placid is, don't you? Line, 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 line. Yeah, we don't want that. So, uh, yeah, to get to that part too, because I know a lot of you probably is having that little problem right there. So, I got a couple tips for that too. You need to increase your cholesterol. When you get older, you're going to start hearing a lot about your cholesterol. Well, you need cholesterol to help with your testosterone levels. You know what I'm saying, guys? So, keep that in mind. We need some cholesterol in our life. A lot of times, you take all the cholesterol out, and that's affecting your testosterone levels. So, what you wanna do is eat foods that are naturally rich in nitrogen. Beets, pineapples. These are things that are going to help out your libido, guys, naturally. You know, you can't, uh, you can't uh, replace your testosterone levels. That's just a thing that happens with age, you know. It declines as you get older. And once you start the pharmaceutical, you know, testosterone, you got to be on it for life. So you're better off just uh, cleaning up your diet, guys, and trying to eat foods that are going to be beneficial to your overall health. Prostate health, guys. Take care of your prostate. You know what I mean? Pumpkin seed, flaxseed oil, those type of things right there are going to help out with your prostate. And do your research. Don't take my word for it, but I'm just seeing it, putting you in the right direction. So these are the things that are going to affect your hardness whether it be sexually or physically. And we primarily focusing on the physical aspects. You, know? you wanna make sure you get your water in. That's gonna keep your body in a calorie burning state, you know? And it keeps you full and keeps you from consuming a bunch of unnecessary calories also. 
So yeah, man, I just wanted to give you my little hardcore tips for how to stay hard, and uh, I hope this helps somebody out. You know, motivate somebody, inspire somebody. Yeah, man, it's a great day for fitness. Till next time, it's hardcore. Have a great day, man. Peace.